Hello, hello everyone. This is the this is John Jenkins, and uh, I wanted to bring you my uh, my second uh, review of the review. Uh, my second of the review of the review, uh, uh, which is a uh, uh, Mushishi, uh, which was reviewed by. Uh, uh, Archangel Manga and uh, Sam Wukong, and you know I talked about the uh, the uh, the uh, the first the first two reviews that I saw on, on Sam Wukong's channel, and uh, they actually you know they didn't do they didn't do it for a long time, and uh, the the one that the last one I did was for the for chapter three. And uh, then came chapter uh, uh, four, which was I guess last week. They didn't do that one because you know various reasons. They didn't they didn't review that cha uh, chapter. Uh, but uh, this the one that I'm uh, uh, the review that I'm reviewing now is is of chapter. Uh, uh, Five and six of Mushishi, and uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, it it was a it, it was a um, it was a it was it wasn't it wasn't groundbreaking, but it was it was it wasn't a groundbreaking review, but it was a solid review, you know. Uh, it, it starts out, you know, basically Sam Khan sitting is sitting in his uh, his favorite new spot in, in front of the computer with the with the manga and the, with the manga uh, posters in the back. And but but Archangel Manga's got a, a new a uh, new uh, a new backdrop. Uh, you know it. You know he, he's got he, he's he's sitting on. Uh, He's, he he no longer has the uh, the shelves with the with the manga volumes in the back. He's sitting uh, uh, in front of a window, and it it was it was it was nicer because it it, it had uh, uh, you could see the the, uh, the the natural white coming in through the window, and it was it was it was much brighter instead of the the uh, I, I want to call it sepia. Uh, but but the, uh, uh, the 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 fluorescent colors that were in the in the other uh, uh, room uh, uh, or is that incandescent colors the the uh, the uh, the more orange colors that were in the his, his previous video with Sun Wukong you know uh, in the, this 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 video it was much brighter. And you know he was he was rocking a haircut. Uh, oh oh, and by the way, you know, uh, uh, you know, you, people looking at this video, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trolling you. There, there is no. Uh, you see the mist and haze and the and the and the blurriness and the and and stuff like that. Uh, uh, looks like a, 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 a some sort of a flashback sequence, you know. Uh, that, that 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 haziness is it, it's actually it, it actually is that hot and humid uh, here uh, today. So uh, uh, yeah, the, uh, I, I didn't put a special filter on or anything. So uh, uh, anyway, uh, you know, Archangel Manga is uh, he's rock. I think he's rocking a new haircut. Right? He, he he. I think you know. <laughs> And you know, you know, you know, so, uh, some Kong got his haircut first, and then I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> but you, you know, uh, you know, Archangel's got a haircut, uh, uh, it looks like, and uh, but he still got the beard. And uh, you know, and I, I noticed he was he was rocking a he was rocking a PS3 in the background, and it's like, uh, you know. It's like uh, so, like neoclassical, you know. Uh, you know, not a not a PS4, not a not a. 
but he didn't go crazy and go with the he didn't go crazy and put an NES in the background. He said, I'll just go back one generation, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, uh, so, you know, they, they, they kick it up, they kick it off straight off, uh, starting with chapter five and, you know, uh, Samu Kong's like, you know, Samu Kong hands it over to Archangel Manga, he's like, what are your thoughts? And then, you know, uh, 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 Archangel Manga's like, he's contemplating, it, it, like, it was quite interesting, you know what I mean? And, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, then, then, uh, Samu Kong is talking about how somebody was re re rejected by love interest, he's, he's given the context of the story and how it, you know uh, how 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 uh, how the con how the context makes it more interesting uh, as a chapter, and uh, you know, and then uh, and then uh, you know, uh, uh, Archangel Mega starts you know cursing the character out, calling him a uh, uh, well you know. Uh, I won't be what he said, but he, he starts cursing that character out and stuff and, and, and saying stuff like that. And, you know, he, he, like, you know, he, all through the video, you can, you can tell that, you know, uh, Archangel Mingus, he's making Sun Wukong think a lot, you know what I mean? He's, he's, he's asking questions that, that make him think. They, they weren't the best questions, but, you know, they, they kept the conversation, uh, 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 rolling and, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, he mentioned, uh, Archangel mentioned, uh, 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 a movie, uh, that, uh, he said the episode reminded him of a movie by James Cameron called The Abyss, and I, I've never, I don't remember ever seeing that, uh, movie, but from his description, it, it seemed a lot like, uh, 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 the movie, uh, uh, Mimic, uh, which I saw, you know, it was a, it was a, you know, CGI, uh, uh B-movie from the 90s, uh, uh, sort of like, uh, it was sort of like, you know, aliens, aliens on Earth with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, shapeshifters, and, uh, so, from his description of The Abyss by James Cameron, uh, it seemed like it was, it was similar to that. Or maybe, maybe you could say Invasion of the Body Snatchers or something like that. Uh, 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 and, you know, someone kind of said something that, that was kind of strange. He said, he's talking about a female character and he's like, uh, her depression was so deep that it was almost a form of suicide. And I didn't know about that one. I mean, it's sort of like, you know, you know, I guess it's, it's probably because, you know, uh, my, my personal experience with depression, you know, uh, I suffered from extreme depression, uh, all throughout childhood, but I never, I never considered suicide. So, you know, so, so, so from, from my, from my experience, you know, and, and, and even if you look at, uh, uh, the suicides that happen every year, you know, uh, 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 depression and suicide are not necessarily linked. It, it's like people assume if you if you look if you're uh, they they assume that if you're introverted or if you're depressed or whatever they they assume you know oh uh, uh, any day now that guy's just gonna uh, 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 you know, uh, blow his brains out and he'll probably, you know, take 15 people with him, you know, people assume that depression is like the, uh, is like the prelude to suicide, like it's, 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 uh, it's, uh, 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 they, you know, they go together, they, they assume that depression and suicide go together like a horse and carriage, you know, uh, uh, but, but it, you know, uh, it, it, you know, so, so it seems strange to me because I, I know that they're not necessarily linked and, you know, we, 
you know, we, we really don't know. We, we, we really can't know the truth about suicides because the only suicides we can know about and the only suicides we can study are the unsuccessful suicides. So, you know, we can never ask somebody who was successful in suicide uh, uh, why they did it or, or you know, they, 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 can, they, they often leave a suicide note uh, but it's it, it's often not you know that uh, even then it's not 100% clear uh, why they did it so uh, yeah that, that was my only problem with that and uh, uh, and uh, you know uh, Archangel Men was talking about the female character he said her her, her existence being inconsequential, and I and I, I remember, uh, I remember this part especially because, uh, you know, uh, there was something uh, special about this person, in, in that uh, that it, it gets into later, where she was, uh, she, she had uh, lived for a very long time, and, and I, I wanted to get into that. And then Sun Kong uh, talks about the ethereal realm, and you know I don't I don't know what ethereal means. It's not, it it you know from when I heard it in life it sounded like you know a word like uh, a word like uh, uh, the the type of word that that you that that sounds more. Uh, it sounds like it's got this this. Uh, super uh, uh, important definition, but in, in actuality, it, it doesn't really uh, uh, mean that much. But uh, you know, and you know, uh, and then uh, he kicked it back over to uh, 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 Archangel Manga, and. Uh, <laughs> And um, you know, I, I talked in, in the beginning. Of, I talked in, the, in in my last video about how you know in the first review, uh, you know, uh, Samu Kong was like going a mile a minute, and, and maybe Archangel Mega could get in a, a word or two. And then the second uh, in the second video, uh, uh, and in the second video. Uh, 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 Archangel Mango was was more was more was more getting back into the uh, conversation, getting a word in. You know, he you know he would you know uh, politely interject his, his beliefs and and he would he would uh, expound on his beliefs. And you know, some of the time was more likely to let him uh, let him uh, let him go and and and, and, and speak his uh, speak his piece. Uh, but in this video, it was more or less equal, you know, uh, uh, there was some stuff at the end I'll get to, uh, but, uh, uh, you know, well, I'll just say it now. Basically, at the end, there was just, there was just, uh, these two incidents where they, you know, it's, it's like sometimes when you're talking to somebody and you'll both say something at the same time, and then you'll both stop to let the other person talk. And then you're stuck there because you don't want to interrupt them again. And then you say something again, and then they say something at the same time again. And you know, uh, you stop again. And there's this big gap in between, you know. And that that happened twice toward the end of the review. And I, I really hate it when that happens, but it, it's really unavoidable when you have uh, two people talking, you know. Uh, and uh, you know, it, it probably takes it probably takes decades of experience to avoid stuff like that. But, uh, uh, you know, uh, and uh, Archangel Manga talked about that female character, and he's, and he's like, you know, he's like, it's about being a Mushi, you know. He, he asked a, uh, 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 a very important question. Uh, he's like, how many people exist in that realm that are now Mushi and we don't know? I don't, I don't know the plot of Mushi Shi. Cause I don't, I don't really like, I don't really watch manga and anime. I don't really, you know, read manga or watch anime. But you know, uh, uh, 
uh, you know, it seems it seems like a standard uh, uh, anime plot, you know, uh, magical powers and you know, uh, uh, people have lived for thousands of years and all sort of stuff, uh, uh, and uh, you know. He's talking about this, he, uh, then Simon Kong starts talking about this character named Ginkgo. And it's like, you know, imagine an episode where Ginkgo wanders back into someone else's realm. Uh, he, didn't, he didn't use the term someone else's realm, but I, I, uh, I just left out that character's name. But he's like, you know, imagine an episode where Ginkgo wanders back into someone else's realm. And this is just another example of how, how uh, Archangel Manga is, is making, you know, Sun Wukong uh, think deeper. He's, he's, he's like, he's like, you know, he's like playing the season, you know, and Sun Wukong picks up on it and he, and he gets a, 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 a inspiration from it. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, And then, uh, 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 and then, uh, 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 Archangel Mega is, is like, uh, 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 Arch Archangel Mega is like, it, it really just kind of exemplifies what Mushi can do to you. Um, and then Sun Wukong interrupts him and he, and he starts talking about, the music. Now, I'm not, you know, like, you know, in my experience, it, you know, basically, uh, uh, basically, uh, you know, I don't really like, you know, anime music that much. It's, it's really like, you know, with uh, Attack on Titan, with Attack on Titan and Psycho Pass and uh, 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 Knights of Cydonia, you know, you know, I mean, basically, they had they had they had good music. They had good music in the first half of the of the of the first season, and then they, they switched it out to bad music. <laughs> and, and and you know, so I, I'm really like you know, I really don't get my get my hopes up uh, with uh, anime music. But uh, you know, I, I, I don't I don't know of any anime mu uh, uh, music except for the American version of Dragon Ball Z. Uh, 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 which, which, where I actually, you know, remembered it for the music, but Sun Wukong really likes anime music, uh, uh, he, he's always talking about it, and, uh, uh, he, so he, he starts bringing out the music, uh, 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 and, uh, yeah, and then he says, you know, he starts talking about, uh, certain other aspects, like you know, the trees reflected on the water, and he's like, it's a step above uh, what was in the first season. And then uh, Archangel Mega starts bringing up the, uh, the, the I, 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 I forgot what this what it's called when you have uh, it's like a layered it's a layered animation where you have you know things in the foreground moving slowly in the middle ground they move a little bit faster and in the background they move really fast. And it creates the, the illusion of a 3D space, and Archangel Manga brought that up, and uh, yeah, yeah, it, it's pretty standard stuff. If you ever, if you saw the uh, the forest, the forest uh, fight scene uh, with the with the blind swordsman in uh, Ninja Scroll, that's basically uh, what what it, what it, what he was talking about, or maybe you know, uh, Vampire Hunter D. Uh, so. Uh, uh, you know, uh, well, uh, uh, you know, that, that's it for now. I'm going to, uh, uh, I'm going to, uh, stay on top of the, uh, the reviews now. I'll see what uh, happens, uh, in the next review. So, rate and comment and have a nice day. Bye.